Lee, you instigated this wonderful festival and it's sold out, absolutely sold out. It's been sold out for weeks. It's been sold out for months, since before the holidays. I know that. Yeah. So okay, there are people lining up outside on the street trying to, you know, get some tickets, you know, and I saw some hawkers as well I'm out sure. there. What, what, how are you going to know if it's the real ticket or they got in with a hawker's ticket? Because they're scanned. They are if scanned, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah, you, you know. And 2008, they better start buying their tickets right now. They better. The second we go on sale in October, they should start buying their tickets. They, they absolutely. Can, absolutely, absolutely. All right. So what are you looking forward to the most? Okay, you put this together. Is there like one particular event that sort of overshadows any other? You know what? I look forward to just seeing every all my friends, the great winemakers, yeah, the huh. great distillers, the great chefs and culinary personalities. I don't have a favorite part of the weekend. I really just like seeing all my friends. Yeah, you like to sort of get out of bed in the morning and just roll through the whole day? Absolutely. To me, it's one big high. Two, two hours of sleep, get up the next maybe, morning? Maybe. Maybe two hours, exactly. Or no. well, four days of no sleep. That's probably, that's closer to it. That's four days of no sleep. Exactly. exactly. And we've got some great mixologists here as well, you know, um, mixing some fantastic drinks. Yeah, we have Tony Abaganum and Francesco Lafranconi yeah. and Anthony Giglio and uh, oh. Alpana Singh. So we have some wonderful mixologists. And of course, the lead singer of Motley Crue, Vince Neal, is going to open the um, festival tomorrow at a margarita se a seminar, teaching how to make the perfect margarita with his new um, Trace Rios um, tequila. Oh, do you know if it's going to be, is it an agave tequila? I, I, I do not know. Oh, it, it should be 100% agave. I, I, I would assume it's 100% blue agave. Oh, it has to be. I would know, assume so. Then there's no headache the next day. Absolutely. <laughs> That's Listen, what I like as well. What could be better than the uh, uh, great tequila like that? And, you know, all these wonderful wines and they're paired with some great food. It's it's This is the best place to have it in um, on South Beach. Uh, I don't think there's a better destination in the country than doing something in South Beach this time of year. There is not. And are you going to be doing anything like this anywhere else in the country? We're doing we're something in New York. We're looking at expanding into California. So, uh, yeah, I I think over the next few years you'll see us popping up and you know another one def you know one for sure two destinations. Well I hope that destination is sort of halfway between LA and San Diego so that you get you know but get both sides of the It's South a great California. market. It's we great love that market. we love that part of the country so we you never know what, where we could end up. Yeah. All right when you wake up in the morning what do you say to yourself? I, 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 you know what, I say thank you for delivering this beautiful weather that we have here this weekend. <laughs> it is. That's what I'm saying today. It is, exactly. That's everything. And lots of sunscreen. Yeah, lots of sunscreen. Hi, this is Lee Schrager, South Beach Wine and Food Festival. You better be here next year in 2008.